everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. So, I don't know what a goose egg looks like, but I had some images of eggs, so I thought I would share that with you um, as representing my milk glass collection. <laughs> this is my uh, collection of milk glass. <laughs> okay, seriously, um, this is my video response to um, Julie's collection uh, giveaway challenge. Uh, Julie, who is Thrifty Paper Garden here on YouTube, has asked folks to share their milk glass collections as well as their other collectibles um, to enter her challenge. I have absolutely not one piece of milk glass, so I thought I would share with you <laughs> these little images of eggs. Uh, okay, now all kidding aside, um, I do have a collection to share with you, and it would be my poodle collection. Um, and as you can imagine, my poodle collection is probably pretty extensive. Um, even though I live in a tiny apartment in New York, um, I've had years and years to collect things that have poodles on them. Um, so I picked uh, a few that I thought were a little different or interesting for whatever reason. Um, and these are little earrings that I made from poodle, um, little metal poodles. Um, so they're pretty small, but I got them on eBay. Um, and I've made these earrings, and I'm working on this charm bracelet. Sorry for the glare there from the me metal. Um, I'm going to add more pink beads like I did to the earrings. Um, but I thought they were super, super cute, and... I'm just enjoying making it. I'm in the process right now. So that's an in-progress poodle uh, collectible. Um, the next is actually this one, which I think is so sweet. This little gold poodle charm came from Irene of Crafty Irina. And I haven't figured out what special way I want to use this little girl. Um, but once I do, I'll be sure to share it with you all. Super, super sweet. Thank you, Irene. Um, the next piece is a necklace, oops, that one's not supposed to be there yet, um, that I made out of a brooch, see, um, and it has a lot of sparkle to it, but I think it's, it's not super gaudy or anything because I used little tiny black beads, um, but this brooch originally I had on my bouquet for my wedding because I wanted a representation of biscuit. Um, at my wedding as well. The next are poodle cufflinks. Um, so these two um, I got for my hobby for our wedding so that he could also have a representation of our little girl at our wedding. Um, sorry, it's a little dark here. But anyway, you get the idea. The next thing is a paper clip holder. This little poodle, this poor thing, it's falling apart. I've had her for probably a good 18 years, but she holds my little paper clips on my desk, and I probably should spend the time to repair her properly, um, but she's a very fashionable poodle, um, and she is a matching set with this little poodle that is a stapler. How cute is that? Um, super cute. And lastly, I have this USB um, dock, which I can plug into a laptop or whatever and then have extra connections. And they made it into a poodle shape. How fun is that, right? Um, when I have extra attachments and things that I need to um, use for my laptop or my desktop, I can plug this guy this guy in and uh, add whatever I need to. And I have one more item that I wanted to share with you all, but um, it's in the other room, so hold on a second. Okay, so it's a mobile that I have hanging in another room, and originally uh, I got it at CB2, that chain store, and originally it was lots of different colors, but I wanted something that I thought was a little bit more sophisticated, so I painted everything white, and then I added little words. Let's see here. True happiness. That one's a blank one. Love always. 
oops, sorry. I hope I'm not making you too dizzy. Forever yours. And then of course I had to add my little poodle. So I did a silhouette I painted of a poodle there. And just so you aren't all feeling like, what about Bandito? I added a little Havanese up there. Um, as you might guess, I've only had Bandito for about a year, so I don't have nearly the number of uh, Havanese things. But don't worry, he's well represented in our little apartment. There's tons and tons of pictures of him and Biscuit all around. Um, but I do want to start collecting more Havanese things. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys play along. I'll put a link to Julie's uh, challenge video in the description box below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Thanks, everybody. Bye.